Hi, we are doing another corset video where I redo a corset. Once again, I forgot to film the intro, so I'm doing it now while it's completed. Can I help you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, so I'm doing it now. Now that this is completed, you can see a little bit of the edits and the changes, a little bit. But I got the black one because I said in my previous video that there was a black corset and then I saw a cow print. I really liked the cow print and a lot of the comments were like, please do a cow print one. So I did. I did a cow print one. And actually I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> it's so kitsch and like over the top and I'm like, I love it. I love anything that's like over the top. So we're gonna get into it. I went to Joann's. I got the stuff I needed. We're just gonna get right into it, right? Yeah, thanks. Okay, let's go. So we went through Joann's. I obviously brought my camera to film a bunch of stuff, but I ended up getting like a splitting migraine halfway through my Joann's trip. So I kind of forgot to film because all I could think of was getting my stuff and getting out of there and going home and taking Advil and taking a nap. <laughs> Whenever I go to Joann's, I almost always bring my dogs because they really love the store. And Joann's is super pet friendly, which is really cool. And here's the cow print fabric. And this is what I'm gonna use to decorate my little corset top. This is the stuff I got. I have my corset top from Forever 21. I got a lot of cow print because I kind of want to make a matching skirt, even though I don't know how to sew. This fun fringe, this rope ribbon thing. I got this thing for embroidery, but I ended up not using it. And yeah, I already have the acrylic paint and the fabric stuff. So we're going to jump right into sketching out my idea. Working in Procreate, I just did a quick sketch of what the corset would look like. Nothing fancy because I'm just using this to get a vague idea of what I want to do. I wanted to do like a cow on one side and then a cute little like pinup cowgirl on the other. So I put down, you know, like where I want the cow print and where I want the girl and the ribbon. And so once I have that done, I just kind of jump right into it. This is the base of the corset. I wanted to lay down all of the cow print first. This was kind of weird, but also not weird at the same time. Like I used the boning in the corset to help me create the panels that I need out of this fabric. And then I realized that um, when I flipped it over, both sides like didn't match. I don't know, it was kind of weird. So I had to end up like editing the shape by like tracing on the fabric with like this water soluble fabric pencil and getting like the exact shape. So it was just like a lot of finagling and trimming. There's probably like a correct way to do this or like a professional way. I have no idea because I don't know how to sew and I'm just really winging it <laughs> through this whole project. Just like raw dogging the whole thing. So I'm just kind of going based off of what I feel like is correct, but I could be completely wrong. And that is a very high possibility, but it kind of worked out in the end. So that's all that matters, I guess. So once I placed all the panels down, I grabbed some fabric tack that uh, was basically almost completely dry. <laughs> so I just scoop it out with this little stick and I just put it down just to hold it in place and then I took it to my sewing machine, sewed all the panels on, and I got started drawing the little towel with my water soluble pencil. 
I was referencing Ferdinand the Bull as a little cow from the 1930s cartoon because I wanted it to be kind of stylized and I wanted to have it have that vintage feel so I was referencing a lot of like vintage cow art <laughs> which was kind of hard to find but then when I found the character designs for Ferdinand I felt like this was really a cute design and I wanted to use it. Like my last corset one I did, the paint I'm using is acrylic paint and then I have fabric medium that I mix in and I just make sure that when I'm mixing colors I put like a bunch of the fabric medium in there. I don't know how much you're supposed to use. Again, raw dogging this whole thing so I just put in as much as I felt was right. Like what my heart was telling me. <laughs> and yeah. This is just the fabric painting medium that I got from Joann's. I don't know if fabric painting medium and acrylic paint is like the best option. It worked really well on my other corset, but I noticed this time around, I don't know if it's because I did a lot of layers or maybe I didn't put enough of the medium in. It did look kind of cracked in some areas. So I don't know if that's just because I was like layering on a lot of paint because it was color on black. So in retrospect, I probably should have painted them on like a white fabric and then sewed it onto this corset, but whatever. You live and learn. I don't know. It worked out for the most part. <laughs> I just won't wash it, I guess, or something. <laughs> Gonna be a stinky, kitschy cowboy girl. Also, I apologize for the blurriness of this part. I don't know why it was blurry, but it gets better.
so I decided I wanted to embroider a lot of the different parts on her so I wanted her to have little gold embroidered boots and then I was gonna embroider some decoration stuff on her shorts and I was gonna embroider her top but then I decided to do something else which you'll see shortly but I don't know how to embroider and I was like how hard can it be you just sew with big fat thread and then I realized while I was working on this that it is actually like kind of difficult because it can look really messy really easily. As I progressed in embroidering, I kind of picked up a rhythm and realized there was like a certain way that you're supposed to do it. I think, <laughs> so I think I got better at it as I went along. But yeah, the boots are definitely a little shoddy, but the rest of it I think is okay. <laughs> For the little cow, I decided I wanted to embroider her little hoofs so that they kind of matched with like the gold boots of the little cowgirl. So I embroidered the hooves. Again, they felt a little messy, but as I kept going, I got another rhythm. And then I took the embroidery thread and did little like dotted borders around her. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but just like a sewn fat Order. I don't know how else to explain it, but you can see, you can see what I'm doing. This, this is, this is what I did. Then for the top for the lady, I had some leftover trim that was kind of this gingham, red gingham texture, whatever, pattern. And I felt like it would be a really cute top, so I kind of twisted it into this little bow shape and sewed it together and then sewed it onto her. Easy peasy. And once I did that, I went in with red embroidery thread and started embroidering in this like, I don't, I don't know what, like cute trim on her shorts. I did it by just doing a lot of knots and then sewing them back in. And then I embroidered her hair and put on some little embellishments and voila. <laughs> And then for the fringe, I had this fabric tack glue. I got more of it at Joann. And I guess I went the lazy route and just glued it on. I could have sewn it. And there's no reason why I didn't sew it besides just feeling lazy. So that's what I did. <laughs> I just took this fabric tack and glued it right along the seam and just stuck it there. And I mean, it, kind of, it works pretty well, so I don't know. Then for the rope, I used fabric tack as well, but I actually probably don't recommend it for this because I've noticed now that it's been like a day or two that some of the points are kind of popping up. So what I probably will do is I'll probably go in and hand sew little tacks like to tack it down to the fabric so that it'll stay in place. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was lazy and it was nighttime and yeah, that's what I did.
after I added all these little embellishments, it is done. So, let's go and check out the reveal. enjoyed working on this one and embracing the super kitsch. There are some things that I wish I didn't do or did better like gluing the rope down you can see that there's some spots where you can really see the glue <laughs> and I probably should have sewn them on like tacked it on and I probably should have figured out how to embroider a little better but I think from far away it looks really cute and I really like it and I've been feeling kind of self-conscious in my own figure lately so this was a nice little boost for me and my self-confidence. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me know what you think about it and tell me if you like a lot of these modification videos and yeah, that's about it. Have a good rest of your day! Go take a nap or something, goodbye!